Welcome back to A Girl in a Panda Suit. This is probably the most exciting video because Picard has finally premiered. So that's what we're doing today. I haven't watched it yet. It's now sad. It's like Saturday afternoon. It premiered on Thursday. Haven't had any spoilers and I'm just going to get right into it right now because I'm super excited. So let's just do it. Wow, he's much older. Oh my god, Data! Yes! <laughs> Oh, this is awesome. What is happening? Oh no. Holy shit. He named his dog number one. Ha, ah, I love it. Whoa, his hair is cool. Who is that guy? I wonder what he is. He's like a lizard person or something. What? Who is this girl? She hasn't activated yet. What does that mean? Holy, what is this girl? Lizard boy died. What? She just saw Picard in a vision. This is so freaky. Cool, it is about the Borg. That's, that's a cube. That's a cube right there. I'm trying not to judge the music until it's done. It's okay. It's not the best, but it's not the worst either. Why do I always get so hungry when I go to do these things? I am starving. Aww. Oh, oh, so cool. You saved the Romulans. It's crazy. Oh, holy shit. Why is this like a racist war again? Humanity sucks, Picard. I'm with you. Oh my god, I love Picard. Most honorable captain. Cool. I'm all about this. I feel like this is going to be exactly what I want it to be, which is humanity sucks, but Picard brings them back to the best Starfleet that they could ever be. This is so intense. My heart is beating really fast. I can feel my pulse in my fingers. Man, I'm really sad about Data. Hmm. I feel so sad about Data. Ugh, I miss Data. <laughs> oh my god. I guess Picard uh, is no fighter anymore. Oh, what the hell is that? Ew, get it off. Oh my god, what just happened to her? Holy Jesus. What? Why does this Romulan place look like a... Borg's cube. This looks so Borg-like. Why? It is. That's a cube. I'm so confused. All right. Wow. That was really good. I'm so happy. <laughs> okay, let me pause this and I'll be right back. So, oh my god, that was really awesome. That was like everything I could have ever hoped it was going to be. Jean-Luc is just as honorable, if not more on honorable than he has ever been. I'm just like, I'm okay. So I don't even know where to start. I'm like freaking out. Okay. So it was just so good. I couldn't have asked for anything more. Jean-Luc is the best. I'm really sad about Data. Apparently he died. So I'm kind of hoping that like, I don't know, that they can get him back at some point. That would be really great. I'm looking forward to seven of nine showing up because I saw her in the trailer. I think the concept's cool. I think it's like unfortunate that the Federation and Starfleet are so like messed up after like just one goddamn incident. He was right. Obviously you save the Romulans because if you didn't then you're not Starfleet and you're not the Federation. You're not honorable. So Jean-Luc was totally right about that. Don't know why the androids went rogue and blew up Mars and killed all those people but I guess we're gonna find out more about that going forward. So I don't really like the fact that synthetics are banned, especially because Data was literally the best synthetic and one of my favorite characters. But I'm really glad that Jean-Luc is going to obviously save the day and probably save Starfleet and have them see the arrow their ways and everyone becomes a nice socialist utopia again. Should be good. I'm happy that like Jean-Luc's obviously going to set everything straight. Yeah, his character is like the same as it always was. So that's really great. He's obviously troubled, but then has his, you know, adventure honorable side. So we'll see how it goes. I'm also looking forward to 
Riker being back. I think I saw something about that. I don't, I honestly don't think you can ask for anything more. Like, I think this is probably exactly what I hoped for. Like, I hoped for Jean-Luc being badass, being honorable, saving people's lives. This is exactly it. I'm really sad about Data. Like, I don't know. That's the only thing that I'm really, really sad about is I wish that Data wasn't dead and I hope that they figure that out. And obviously there's going to be some cool characters with these synthetics and then the guy that in invented them. So I assume we're going to find out more about him. Hopefully he's cool. I don't know. Like everything about this is just so awesome. Like I'm so, I'm so happy. I'm like speechless. I think honestly, like, okay, first of all, way better than Discovery. I get that they're set in different times, so like, obviously, Picard's gonna be more progressive, which is why it's disappointing that the Federation would like completely kind of undermine its, its values that it had for so long and, and Starfleet or whatever, so I'm just so excited. Like, I'm just so happy. I guess Data maybe will live on through these synthetics, I'm not sure. I think it was really good. I think everyone should watch it. It might be one of my favorite seasons or series of Star Trek. <laughs> I've only seen one episode. Here's to it being the greatest series of Star Trek. Well, maybe the second greatest. I don't think you can beat TNG. Like, I honestly don't think anyone can beat the next generation. There's just, there's just no comparing it. Because Data's it. I mean, Data's there. You can't compare her to Data. I know it's Data's daughter, but Data's like you know, OG. Super excited. Everybody should watch it. Go watch it. Tell me what you think. I think I was kind of dead on. Like, I know they didn't mention any Borg stuff in this episode, but what was with the cubes? Like, those were obviously Borg cubes, and I don't know if, like, the Romulans are, like, taking it over, or, like, that busted one. Hmm, I guess I was wrong, because I was originally thinking, oh, maybe this girl's Borg, and that's her connection to Jean-Luc, and that could still be the case. Like, maybe it's a combination, like, Borg technology slash data android positronic. I don't know. Like, I think there's something Borg-related happening here, and Borgs are essentially, like, synthetic human hybrids so how would they have destroyed the borg problem if they're banning all synthetics yet they have this race that is like legit half synthetic uh, i'm not really sure where that leaves the borg in this situation i know that they like don't have too much contact with them still i'm like this doesn't really make any sense so maybe they are still related maybe i am kind of right either way i'm good i'm thinking that there's going to be a combo i mean seven of nines there i don't know i guess i'm just gonna have to wait and find out more. I'm purely speculating about all of this stuff. All I know so far, Jean-Luc left Starfleet because he didn't agree with them, because they weren't being honorable anymore, because they didn't want to save Romulus, and they also banned synthetics because of, um, like, you know, it's so stupid. That's just, it's just like humans to blame an entire race or an entire like species for something because of one small faction that kind of bums me out because i feel like i mean that's where we are in history right now and i guess history tends to repeat itself so maybe that's what's happening here but it kind of bugs me it's like come on starfleet like don't you know you're supposed to be honorable like, do you really need Jean-Luc telling you? All right, so that was like awesome. I'm like more than happy with that. Two big thumbs up from me. I loved it. I could ask for Data not to be dead, but I guess that would kind of ruin part of the plot here. So I'm hoping that he comes back. Somehow they're like able to like reanimate him in like a new body, but we'll see. We'll see how it goes. So... If you liked this video, and if you liked the first episode of Star Trek Picard, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe. And if you do want to see more videos, make sure you hit that little bell icon because it'll send you a notification when I do upload new videos. Remember to do that and only do it if you want to. No pressure. I'm just here because I love Star Trek. I'm just here because I love Picard. I'm just here because Jean-Luc is the most honorable man in Starfleet history. Thank you for watching. This has probably been my most favorite A Girl in a Panda Suit Reacts video, purely because I'm so happy. Oh my god, I'm so happy. It was so good. This is so much better than when I watched Discovery for the first time. Man, I was so bummed out by that first episode. This one was just so good. Like, so good. So good. I'm so happy. Thanks again for watching, and live long and prosper or something.